What's up, my friends? It's Frank Calabro Jr. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach you how to import any Tron TRX wallet into TronLink desktop extension. So if you got a Tron wallet, a Tron wallet on any platform, doesn't matter where it is, if you, you're using Tron wallet or Exodus, or if you're using Cleaver, Atomic wallet, Trust wallet, just to name a few or something else, many others, and you want to move it to your desktop, right? Use Tron Link extension. Well, how do you do that, right? I was a little bit confused by this and I finally figured it out and I figured there must be other people out there that are struggling with this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is pretty simple once you figure it out. The verbiage is pretty confusing on this and that's, I think, what causes a lot of people to struggle with this thing. Okay, what you want to do is go ahead and log into your Tron Link extension on your Google Chrome or possibly on uh, the Brave browser. Go ahead and log in to Tron Link. Now, once you log in, what you got to do, and once again, this is kind of hidden, you got to click on that little plus sign that they hide well right up there next to that wallet. That little teeny tiny little plus sign. Go ahead and click on that, okay? You want to go ahead and click on that. Now, once you click on that, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see Create, Restore, and you're going to see Hardware. And that Restore uh, uh, label up there on the menu, I think that's confusing because you're like, well, I don't really want to restore a, a wallet. I want to import it. I want to transfer it, right? Um, but I don't really want to restore a, a wallet. But actually, you got to click on that, guys, to move your wallets over here, okay? So go ahead and click on that Restore button up there in the menu bar. Now here's where you give uh, that uh, wallet a name. Now here's a couple tips. Whatever you call your wallet on another platform, call it the same thing here so you can identify it or whatever system that you came up with. Now, for example, I'm gonna move my Exodus Tron wallet, my TRX wallet over on Exodus. I'm gonna move it over here, okay? So I can access it on my desktop. So I'm gonna name mine Exodus, okay? You call yours whatever you wanna call it. You can name it anything that you want to name it, whatever system that you came up with, okay? So once we name it, we're gonna hit the continue button next. All right, now, here's where we can, notice how the, the verbiage changed, it says import an account, right? Before it said restore the account, now it changed, it says import account. So we're gonna import the account. Now, I'm gonna use my uh, mnemonic phrase, it says you can use your mnemonic phrase or your pass key. I'm just going to use the mnemonic phrase for this example. This is what I did. It worked perfectly. It worked fine. And that's how I moved my wallet over here. I'm going to move several of my Tron wallets over here. But this is the first example. Okay, so in my example, I'm going to import my mnemonic phrase. It says, please enter, listen to this carefully, your mnemonic phrase below. This will either be 12 or 24 words in length separated by spaces. So what you got to do is basically have your words Say, for example, you stored them in a text file, okay? There needs to be one space in between each word in one continuous line, okay? So once you do that, you paste it in there, okay? Once you have your 12 words, paste it in, one space in between each word. That's all you got to do. You just hit the continue button. Now, here's where you select the wallet, okay? So in my example, I'm going to grab my Exodus uh, TRX Tron wallet and I want to import it okay or transfer it or whatever you guys want to call it move it right over here to this Tron link extension so I'm going to pick uh, the wallet that I want to move over here from this drop down menu so I'm going to go ahead and select it and click the import button and presto guys it's that simple that's all you got to do okay now you'll see it populate there it is Exodus I just moved my wallet I named it Exodus and there's the wallet that I just moved over here to the Tron Link extension. Now, whatever wallet that I want to use, all I have to do is click on the wallet to use that wallet. That's all I got to do. So if I want to use the one that says Exodus, I'm going to click on it. If I'm going to use that one that says Justify, I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Okay. All right. Now, in order to switch back and forth, okay, so whatever wallet you click on, you're using the other wallets that you transferred or imported or moved whatever you want to call it they're not going to display so how do you get those wallets to display again once again they got that hidden little teeny tiny plus sign right you got to click on that thing 
Okay, and once you click on that, it'll display all the wallets that you imported. They call it restore, okay? They call it restore, but all the wallets that you imported over here to the Tron Link extension are gonna display, and then you can choose and pick which wallet that you want to use, okay? So just click on the plus sign to display all your wallets. Add more wallets by clicking on the restore up there in that menu, and the whole process starts all over again. I showed you how to do it, pretty simple, all right? So there's a simple little trick, little tutorial on how to move your Tron wallets, TRX wallets over here to this Tron link extension. All right, guys, I hope this helped. I hope uh, this eliminate any confusion. I was a little bit confused by this. That's the purpose of this video. I hope it helps you out. If you guys like it, hit a thumbs up, put comments down below, and be sure to connect with me, guys. Be sure to connect with me over on my blog, planetmillionaire.com. You can connect with Frank Calabro Jr. Those are my official media channels over there. You'll be able to find me. Reach out and say, say hello, guys. All right, that's going to conclude this training. Frank Calabro Jr. signing off. Thank you.